Hey everybody, this is Michael Espinosa uh, of Firing Blind. Um, so what I've got here today for you all is something I just bought. This is a uh, Mossberg 12 gauge shotgun. Um, this is, I've got the uh, the pistol grip on there, I like that. Uh, i got that nice foregrip with the little, uh, I, just, um, so I just call it a stirrup, I don't know what you really want to call it, little hand loop, little uh, cloth hand uh, uh, handle, extra little handle there. Um, and what I really love about this is we've got the, uh, the little breacher, little breech muzzle on here, the uh, door buster. Um, I love this because, you know, when I find a lock I can't pick, then, you know, out comes the 12 gauge. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I don't need that for master locks. I just kind of need to glare angrily at them. Uh, so here's the thing, though. I like this gun. I do. It's not a bad gun. Um, what don't I like? This lock. So this gun came with a lock right here for keeping it nice and safe and secure. Um, yeah, you can see I've got it threaded through. Uh, let me get that sling out of the way. If you can see right there, I've got it threaded through the breech. I've got it threaded out through where the elevator is, and I've got it through the trigger group, um, through the trigger guard specifically. I don't think that's how it's supposed to be locked up. I'm sure there's a better way to do it. Um, I don't know that way. But ultimately, that's not the issue, because no matter how it's supposed to be locked up, the issue is not that. It's with the lock. The lock itself. Now, this is a uh, it's a Mossberg lock. Uh, I mean, it has their name on it. Um, honestly, with a keyway like this and with a with the quality of lock on it, I'd expect it's probably made by Master. I don't know, um, but it does have a very tight keyway on it. Here's the thing: you put this on your 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 gun and you think your gun is safe, then you are mistaken. Unfortunately, um, this is not. If you're a responsible gun owner and what you're concerned about is personal safety and so on and so forth with your guns and you're using those to defend yourself, you also want to defend yourself from someone stealing guns, someone using guns nefariously. Um, and that's that's my attitude. And this lock is not what you need to do that job. Um, so what I'm going to show you here is how easy it is to get past this lock. I've got keys for it. The key works. It's fine. But, you know... If, uh, if somebody is up to no good, doesn't, uh, you know, gets into your house and is trying to get at your gun, um, or get at a gun, whatever, in somebody's house with one of these locks on them, uh, it's not going to take a key to get into it. I'm going to use a couple of picks, but I mean a couple of paper clips should do the job just fine. Um, so what I've got here that I'm going to use today are a uh, Sparrow's Tension Tool. I'm going to use the short end of this little Z, uh, Z Tension Tool. Um, and I've got a Sparrow's Short Hook. This is the 15 thousandths, uh, great for Euro profile locks. Nice and thin and flexible. Um, the Really, the only saving grace of this lock is its tiny little keyway. So let's see if we can get into this gun. Let's pretend we're, uh, we're uh, you know, uh, Mr. Up to No Good, and we're trying to get into this here gun. Uh, let me see what's the best way I'm going to get at this. I'm just going to have to... <laughs> this is not the safe way to hold a shotgun if I, you know, if I ever want kids, that is. <laughs> I don't! Let's do this! I'm kidding! <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, so let's let's see. I'm going to probably have to just lay it like that. And can you still get a good angle on it from here? Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's uh, get a tensioner in there. There we go. And I'm going to try and get this hook in. That's really, like I said, the only saving grace on this thing is that the keyway is very tiny. Let's see if we can get this hook to cooperate. Of course, when I'm on camera, it doesn't want to. <laughs> It's trying to prove me wrong. It's like, no, Mossberg makes a high quality lock. You're fine. You crazy, crazy blind man. But let's have a look. Let's see if, oh, and, and Mr. Up to No Good just scored himself a free shotgun. So there you go. Now we've got ourselves our very own unkeyed, nice and unlocked Mossberg 12 gauge. So we're just going to, you know, waltz, waltz into somebody's house and steal this here gun. Um, thought I felt a cat down there. I was going to steal it, too. Uh, I think she scurried away. Anyway, uh, I was going to show you all my new cat. Anyway, I think she's scared of shotguns. Um, smart cat. Anyway, so, yeah, now we've, uh, <laughs> we've stolen ourselves a Mossberg. So, point being, if you're really concerned about gun safety, get yourself a lock that's a little little better than this. This, is, this Mossberg lock is not... Uh, it's, it's, it's just not what you want if you're really concerned about keeping your gun safe from harm um, and those around you safe from harm by way of your gun. Invest in a gun safe, invest in a better gun lock. Really anything you can is going to be better than this little... I mean, I'm sure you could probably even just hack through this with like a... I don't know, anything. Um, but lock picks make, an e make easy work of it. So really consider what you want out of your gun and how much safety you want with it. And I say go for a better lock. 
Anyway, um, this is Michael Espinoza with uh, Firing Blind, and I urge you to uh, don't trust these standard locks, guys. <laughs> All right, everybody, stay safe.